Welcome everyone to the CCA League Season 3 Week 4 live stream here on the CCA Splatoon channel. I am Mizuno and I am joined by my good friend Spicy. Spicy, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great, Mizuno. We have an absolute amazing primetime matchup here tonight with PSU Blue from Penn State University versus the Stars of Orion from University of Texas Dallas. Some really talented team so we're going to see an amazing match tonight absolutely this is a high stakes div one matchup as we are in week four of the cca league so these are the prime matches that these teams are going to absolutely need to get into the playoffs to provide some context here folks psu blue is right now on a killer win streak holding on to a three on to two oh right now with only one rescheduled match however meanwhile the stars of orion have only played one match so far besides this one we're about to see here tonight and they had previously lost last week to the to the claimed night sharks 04 in a um, just an outstanding of uh, sweep so high stakes situation here because both of these teams are going to really need these wins at this time before heading into their reschedules exactly and with psu being one of the staples of the collegiate splatoon scene just not being able to make playoffs and or make a deep run in them yet they're looking to make this their season as we go into game one on ink blot ink blot on tower control Oh, this is going to be an exciting matchup. I'm really curious about these comps as the openings, opening sequence comes into play here. We see a Flings and a Splatana on the side of Stars of Orion and PSU Blue bringing out two guns and a brush, of course, standard by Kraken Mare himself. This is going to be quite the match, Spicy. Exactly, yeah. Two very relatively fast, two relatively aggressive comps here. You don't see the traditional anchors that you will normally see on these maps. And now as we see just both teams just trying to fight each other in neutral here, you already see the killer whale come out. And now we're really just looking to see who's going to be able to get the tower first in these initial seconds. Exactly. We see your fight going on here. Stars of Orion looking to do this. Pinsir gets a great kill on Obscure from PSU, and that's a two down situation for PSU. Three down situation onto PSU Blue, and Stars of Orion is looking to take the tower to that first checkpoint. Stars of Orion, you know, we've seen there's so much talent on this team being able to take PSU three down early on. And now at the first checkpoint here, you see some of their players starting to push up, start putting that applied pressure here. You have the crab tank online from their end. They're just going to get past the checkpoint. You see the crab tank come out now. Tense is coming out and they are just on an absolute tear so far, even though it's a 3-3 so far. They've taken it to the 56 within the first minute. Great point, Spicy. I loved how they were to utilize the crab tank in time with the missiles that were set off. Great play coordination and strategy there. We're still looking. Look, they're not done. Stars of Orion has is still inching that tower back forward and getting another clean kill onto Kraken Mare. Oh, this is but two down situation here, and they're looking to kind of hold their ground as the tower slowly inches back over to that mid middle area. And with Tentus coming out now on the side of Stars of Orion, they're going to be able to try and find a lot of displacement here. Just going to be able to get stuff now and just win in neutral right now. They're going to retake the tower, going to maybe start inching it a little bit closer. They've been in complete control so far of this entire match. PSU Blue has yet to get on the tower, and as they do, they finally start to make their initial push. And this is a great 2v1 situation here that PSU Blue was able to win. However, this crab tank on the side's side of Stars of Orion is looking to cause some trouble. They call up the flank. PSU is able to call up the flank, get the kill on the Tetris as well. Ah, but the tower is slowly inched back to mid, so now PSU is going to have to start all over again. Yep, just as we've been seeing, it's been an absolute, like, some of uh, just insane control from the Stars of Orion here, just being able to, like, they see a push happen, even though as they go two down, they're still able to like keep up the pressure, really force PSU Blue to struggle in making all these pushes. Now, as you see them, PSU Blue is starting to ride the tower. They're going to take it to the first checkpoint, it looks like. They're at the first checkpoint, now going to try and see if they're going to be able to push it. Nope, they're going to lose the tower right here. The Stars of Ryan just putting up so much pressure on this defense, on their defensive end, making it really hard for them to get, for PSU to get anywhere. Agreed. I love this teamwork here. Seek and, and I believe that's Obscure there working together to prevent Snow on the Gal here from getting too far, but they were able to only just just inch them away. Finally calling out that Gal flank. Oh, but I don't know if it's too late. And oh, 
unfortunately, PSU Blue is able to take that tower and break the lead as well as potentially break this checkpoint. Yep, and despite going three down, taking that lead now with less than two minutes to go is going to be critical so far, especially with how close and how even mm -hmm. both these teams have been in play so far. You see three specials are online for the side of Stars of Orion. Going to see how they use this amazing coordination they've had to potentially make this push and and, get, and really take this lead back for, for good. You see the Reef come out here, not going to be able to get a splat, but you see them able to have the tower for the most part and they're like they seem to be in control the spot bomb's gonna force them into a rough situation but you see the nice trade and now the tower's still in neutral oh there's just these key opportunities spicy you keep pointing them out they have great coordination and team synergy but it's just an execution secant unable to get something with that reef slider uh just that we saw there and jimby not being able to follow up with that that's Botana. oh but this is an inter interesting situation now we have a three down situation a lot of members of psu blue back in spawn and obscure getting called out there and the brush all isolated by the tower and now this is another three down situation this is Stars of Orion's time to move. And with two specials online for them, it's going to be really important for them to make this push count. Less than 40 seconds to go. You see the Reef Slider come out now from the side of them. They're already past the, at the second checkpoint. They're going to look to take the lead here. Still stuck at the 52. You see how close it is. They have a numbers advantage. And they're going to be able to take the lead with less than 30 seconds to go. Having these specials come out here. And it's going to keep pushing it. It's going to be really hard for PSU it's Blue to cut with 20 seconds to go have to they have to make a stop here they have to get something going knowing that the tower is at their own 27 but with two down now on the side of psu blue and with less than five seconds to go it might be just a little bit too little too late got to get on the tower to make something happen here and it's just not enough as stars of orion takes game one Oh, I think PSU Blue, they weren't like jumping onto the tower immediately. I don't think they realized they didn't have possession of the tower at, during that switch. Because it was that Stars of Orion hopped off the tower, so the tower's at neutral. But I think PSU Blue had to take the tower and just... They weren't able to get that overtime opportunity there just because of that small oversight. Wow, what a banger of a first game. I mean, we still have several more to go. I can't imagine how this is going to play out. With both teams being as even as they were, with it being super back and forth that entire first game, we are in for a real treat here. Stars of Orion, that's their first win in CCA this season in terms of individual games. But you wouldn't be able to tell by how coordinated they were with their specials, how coordinated they were with able to make the most out of their pushes. Even down to the last 40 seconds, they were able to take that last push and really force Penn State into a really rough situation and preventing an overtime. It's really good that you point that out, Spicy, because I think a lot of that comes from Stars of Orion's player experience outside of the CCA. Um, taking a look at this roster here, some of these names might seem very familiar to the low-level community. Um, Seekin is a well-known player from previously from Prism. Jimby uh, previously also played for the Marine Melody roster, which is a you know, an up-and-coming, low-ink team. Uh, Onkar also had previously played uh, on another team in, within the CCA in engine, our recent one-off event entrance exam. And then, of course, in the back, in, in, on the bench, rather, there's Nito, who currently plays for Aquatic Vanguard. So since you point that out, Spicy, I think a lot of that clutch factor comes from these players' experience already playing really intensive tournaments like Low Inc. or LSL. Exactly. I was looking at this roster and I was just immediately thinking, this is essentially like a dream team situation for them. Even though they don't have the CCA experience collectively as a group, you're pulling in players from like who have already this competitive experience. It's no surprise that they're going to end up starting their first CCA season in Division 1 and you really see that come out through their gameplay. Absolutely. And already these players are ready to go heading into game number two. We thought the first one was going to be intense. Well, now we're going to head into Rainmaker Wahoo World and taking a quick look at these comps. Looks like Stars of Orion is sticking to what they know and PSC making a couple of gun switches, but nothing too out of the ordinary for these two teams. Exactly, and we're going to see some more aggressive play from both these teams. You see the lack of a traditional anchor once again, and then you see both teams just trying to shoot for mid right now, just trying to see who's going to be able to take these picks. 
find an opening but you see the killer whale come out from the side of PSU Blue already once again just being able to put out any displacement right now and you see Sergeant Ryan just painting the middle right now really forcing PSU back now they're gonna try and look for something here to potentially make a push Right. I'm glad you pointed that out, Spicy, because PSU is in a really awkward spot just trying to maneuver the the balcony below, a balcony above versus the carousel below. But they were able to nav navigate that incredibly well because they got a huge knockout and they're able to take the po first podium with ease. With ease, for sure. You saw how much they were able to take that wipe and translate it to immediate results here. They're now able to keep up this pressure. It's already over at the 36 now. You see PSU just absolutely running with this lead so far. And with how well they've been playing, I'm really interested to see what their call is like right now. Yes, let's take a look, folks. Same Got dollies. Honest question, where is the call? I'm on a striker right now. You. I'm Mark. Just playing smart here. Thank you. Wailing the wiper. Pass underneath. Record. One top mid. Fell. Wiper's down. Nice, thank you. Ah, shit. I got killed by Rainmaker. Rainmaker's gonna die. They're running low on time. Yeah, so they just, I just blasted they crap. Last two are together behind the Rainmaker. I got jumped on me. Throwing a weight breaker on the uh, on the right. Am I down? I'm trying to try. Cool. 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 I turn on Carousel underneath. Use three slider. Oh, uh, we got ton of missiles coming in. Multiple rushing me on the right. The right? I, I pushed him back, push him back, down flat. Ah, shit, I dropped down by I accident. Said. Fuck, I'm dead. Working on top. Watch hammer. I'm dead to hammer. Viper, left glass. Pushing to mid now. I can't get him, he's weak again. Yeah, I'm gonna try and bomb left side. Wiper's got me weak, they're gonna rush me. Got one of them. Wait, break your down. Uh, Flimza and Splash are both one on more the right down. side. Grabbing. Splash is weak. I got the splash. Just flings on the far left. Or far right, far right, far right. Come left, 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 left fast. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Coming out spawn. Give me the paint for me. Alright, I'm... Alright, paint it up pedestal. Go, go, Jay, go. Oh, shit. It. You guys can get a pop, you can get it. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. I got a Trizuka to help. And I got a bomb down. Alright, one point, one point. Focus life, focus life. I'm, I'm trying, 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 trying to get a pop. Up, 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 up. Oh, uh, a reef slider got it. Oh, that was a really good reef slider Great, on their slider. part. Giving jump to mid. That's fine, they just can't let them KO. That's it. We have yeah. a minute and a half to hold this. You can't get wiped. That's literally it. AKA J, it's on you, buddy. Folks, as you just heard in the VC right now, PSU Blue getting into a clutch situation, getting the Rainmaker all the way to the one point marker. Spicy, this is everything that you could ask for for PSU Blue right now. Exactly, and one thing I love from their comps is all we have to do is just prevent a knockout here. You see how much Stars of Orion has to do within one minute to go, not having that first checkpoint, not having really any ground whatsoever. PSU Blue is just consistently able to take an advantage right now, and they are just absolutely controlling the game, whether it be in splats, whether it be in paint, whether it be in Rainmaker positioning. It's simply wonderful right now, and I mean, I, what more can it ask for with 30 seconds left, three specials online, complete control of the Rainmaker's position right now. They just so happen to grab it, I think, just because. Popping the killer whale here and forcing anyone that gets anywhere near it farther back than before. Exactly. They're just able to hold for these next 20 seconds that you see how much the Rainmaker Carrier's teammates are able to just keep finding splats, keep protecting their friend who's just holding the Rainmaker and with 10 seconds to go, Stars of Orion is going to have to make a stop here at some point, but they're not going to be able to go into down. Penn State looks like they are going to be able to take game two and even up the set. Oh man, I think that was Seekin right there on the Tetras just 
barely in the last millisecond just unable to secure the kill needed on the Rainmaker to extend the match into overtime. My gosh, PSU, what a display here after that first game won. Wow, I'm, I'm just stunned right now. I mean, just he especially hearing their callouts in VC and how desperate they seem to ensure that they're able to get that Rainmaker all the way up to the podium and some great callouts and great play coordination. I mean, a great, just a great game. Exactly. One thing we want to point out with Penn State, you, we all know this is a, rec a team that is consistently here in CCA, like always in Division One. You see it in their callouts. You hear just how able they are able to make these coordinated plays, really just hype each other up with all these good plays, and they're able to call each every flank out possible. And, re and because of that, they're able to take it all the way to the one and force Stars of Orion into a horrible situation for them to come back through. Right, but that's not to say we can count them out in the next few matches here. We're coming into Clam Blitz Macomart. Now, since we were just in the callout, uh, hearing their callouts earlier, I'm very curious about how, after that match, how both of these teams are going to coordinate on a Clam Blitz map. I love hearing the, how these Div 1 teams kind of approach these tougher maps and tougher modes, especially particularly when Clam Blitz requires such a high skill floor for callouts, for communication, and for team coordination. Yep, we we say it time and time again, Clam Blitz, especially in a coordinated setting, requires the most teamwork to really be successful. And we've seen both these teams, whether it be through their callouts or through their gameplay, they're just able to make the most and support one another. And it's gonna be really exciting going into game three now, but this could end up turning the tide of the set for either team. Exactly. I don't think either team has lost any momentum per se. I mean, going into game three right now, I, PSU just won their previous match in Rainmaker Wahoo in outstanding fashion and by a large noticeable margin. But I don't, again, I don't think that's to say to count out Stars of Orion right now. I think they should still feel pretty good, especially after a really good TC match. So hopefully, again, some of their coordination and synergy that we've seen earlier will come back into play yep as we go into game three clan blitz on mako mart this is the game that potentially may determine the outcome of the set in the long run what do you see from these comps so far not not many too many changes here stars of orion sticking to what they know especially with that splatana's flings a combo and seeking on those tetras and psu blue kraken always on that brush and it looks like obscure is still rocking the t-tech here as unfortunately they go down in the first 12 seconds of the match <laughs> Yep, that's just how it's going to be. Both these teams are playing very aggressive here. Starts of Orion's going to go two down, and you see PSU having an early jump when it comes to clam economy. That while Starts of Orion struggles to pick up clams, struggles to find themselves back into a neutral position, you see them have the two specials online. You see the Tentas come out now. Penn State Blue has a lot of clams, though. They're going to try and keep each other alive just to eventually make a push here and eventually get that power clam and potentially try to score first. Ah, I see Snow here losing the Crab 1v1 fight and forced to retreat back onto the stack, which is a very dangerous situation here. I see a lot of yellow as they're trying to push them back, but they're able to find a way out. Ah, oh, getting ch chased by that stamp, though. You think they were out, but then they're not. Great play from Jimby on the side of Stars of Orion. Yep, exactly. Beautiful play from the side of Stars of Orion that was able to give them an early two-down situation, but now all of a sudden, Ties are changing once again. Now both are having one member down. Stars of Ryan are able to start resetting. This has been back and forth so far. You haven't been able to see either team build a power clam yet. But despite that, it's been like consistently back and forth with the neutral fighting. And this is just brilliant neutral play we've been seeing from on the side of both teams. Absolutely. You can even tell just from the overhead or just from around the map, you can see how much blue and how more purple rather and how much yellow there is on the map. It just seems to be teetering back and forth. Now we see PSU getting a very clear advantage as they move in on a huge three down situation. Finally, the tides are turning a little bit more to their favor. Oh, getting a clean pick there, a clean bomb pick on Jimby. And after that try strike, Stars of Orion, they're on the back foot now and popping that crab tank in hopes of pushing the members of PSU Blue away. This is looking a little bit dangerous right now, Spicy.
It's a dangerous situation indeed. PSU Blue, you see how many clams they have. And with Stars of Orion already at a two down situation, PSU Blue looks to strike first now already. It, taking them to the 80, and you see the Ink Brush have six clams ready. They're going to be able to have a power clam now, and with their speed, they're going to potentially try and make a push eventually here to try and score more. They're not going to be able to, though. Stars of Orion, despite going down like early in terms of like letting that first score happen, you saw the poise from their end, just being able to shut down any potential pushes from PSU. Poise is such a great word for it. They did not waver or lose control or make silly mistakes that would cause, you know, potential, a, a huge error that could cause them, you know, lost paint or lost ground, lost positioning. Great plays here. Oh, Kraken is going to go down here from this stamp. Great plays from the Splatana, getting another kill onto Snow. That is a two-down situation. The Splatana is looking for a third, but unable to succeed as Obscure picking up some leftover clams from that 1v1 fight. And gosh, with just a min just just over a minute and a half left, this is looking really dicey for both teams, to be honest. There's no clear sense of control. Exactly. It's been super back and forth between this entire game so far. Despite Penn State having the power claim ready, they're not going to be able to make a push at the moment because Ars of Ryan just showing this amazing defense. You see the crab tank just pressuring the Dooley Squelcher from being able to do anything here. There's two power claims on the side of Penn State Blue, but they are still stuck in their own base trying to force open a situation here. But with the Tenthas coming out now from the side of Stars of Orion, it's getting really difficult for any team to really make any plays so far with only one minute to go. Satora picking up the, the ball here from their pity from Spawn finally making their way forward, but their teammates are falling down one by one, so now they're just stalling the push at this point, but they go down! A great pick from Obscure, and just, if they keep having these one-down situations, it's gonna make it all the more difficult to get the basket, get the basket open, and pop in a few more clamps to secure a lead. Again, this back and forth, they just can't find the picks that they need right now, Spicy. Yeah, and with only 30 seconds to go and both teams having a power clam available online, it's going to come down to these last 30 seconds here. Really, you see Stars of Orion have four up now. You see them, the Dark Dutcher Dooley, have the power clam here. They're going to try and make one push here. They have 20 seconds. All they need is a power clam and one more just to take the lead here. You see it coming down now. 13 seconds to go. They need to find an opening here. You see the Reef Slider up potentially, but you see Stars of Orion sneak on through to find the opening. Find the goal and now they're in the lead with only two seconds to go before a potential overtime you see the ink brush though from penn state now having that pity clam and now and they're gonna have a pity clam available and now it's gonna come down to this overtime situation very scary situation for PSU. Blue, they're three down. It's just Jay holding on to the pity here. The clock is winding down. The last the last person standing and just they're not able to follow through. What a great last minute push from Stars of Orion. Incredible. That was an absolute clinic in terms of neutral and defense from both teams. It really just came down to who was able to just make the, belt, the most out of their one push. Stars of Orion was able to just sneak right through Penn State's defense and find the, find the goal and just get a little bit more. And that's all they needed. Both teams just amazing play in terms of their defense here. And Stars of Orion is now going to have a 2-1 lead, but Penn State definitely not out of it right now. I absolutely agree with your assessment there. And I think the key difference between those two pushes was the special timing. I have to point out Seekin on those Tetras. They're holding onto the ball. And they're also they also have a reef slider online. And they wisely, so wide this was a really good play. They they instead of compromising and using the reef slider early because they can and it's an easy read to the basket, they saved it, popped the basket, and then used it as an opening for their teammates to get in more clams. And that was just, again, clinic, like great use of special of your specials and using them properly and when to get your push in at the right time and making the most of it.
yeah one other thing i want to point out from that is like by saving the reef slider it's kind of a little bit of a just a mind game at this point because you would expect mm. then from the side of penn state like okay we're gonna see stars of orion pop the reef slider try to make that opening and then score but no they score then create this massive opening to take the lead and eventually take the game we're seeing some high level gameplay not just in like the mechanical ability but in the mental gameplay as well and it's just Super exciting to watch. And what can you say? This is what you can expect from Div 1 teams. Just casual mind games playing out in right in front of us. And just great decision making and psyching out your opponent in a way. I mean, again, just I have to call out Seek and all that one. That was just a great play. But heading into game four now momentum shift i'm not quite sure if it's there yet like you said psu blue is still very much in this despite what the scoreboard says yep and now as we go into game four i would not be surprised to see penn state just absolutely tear everything down now we're going to see some interesting gameplay here from both teams and i'm really excited to see what we have in store here Stars of Orion rocking what they usually like to, but PSU Blue bringing out three guns this time. Jay picking up the Splattershot Junior, custom Splattershot Junior this time. So tons of paint for PSU Blue, which is really going to play into their favor here. It's just an absolute bloodbath is happening right now in the middle of mid, right under that bridge. I mean, good God, two deaths already onto PSU Blue. Yep, Stars of Orion just going to be able to take that early advantage and now having the Tenta's out, it's going to be forced Penn State back. And it's going to really just put an early lead now for the side of Stars of Orion. And now we can potentially see what they're thinking right now by going into their VC. Hey. Off the hammer. I got me. Got one. Nice. Oh, oh, we're, two right we're two right now, we're two right now. I'm first right now, I'm gonna chill. I'm hanging for a missile. I'm half to strike. Okay. I got a missile. I'm missing three. Uh, two on our high. Go all in. The, all on our high rise. Flash the one, nice. Ah, nice. oh, I tried to reslide through. Brush on our zone. Just chilling on the we're ledge. Chipped. They're, chipped. They're in mid. Alright. Walk right. Brush our zone. One trench, flat. the whale. Oh, I'm down to bomb. I'm gonna try to flank round, right? Okay. I'll try and hold mid then. Almost a missile. Alright. I'm missing two. Respawning through to their side. The shot got me. The brushes on our on our left. Oh. Yeah, brush got me. Got splatter shot. Our junior. Rush is still on um, that, yeah. that pocket. Yeah, see, I'm getting pushed by Splash. One drop right, one drop right mid. Ah, I died in their zone. I tried to stall it Careful for a bit. Careful, feeding. They crab. Watch, watch crab, watch crab, watch crab. Jumping out. I'm half the missile. Okay. Falling for you, Ankar. Aw, oh, my bad. I mean to drop here. Junior got me. I'm missing the second shot on right. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get dive from left. Okay, I'm, I'm jumping with I'm you, Jimmy. We're gonna try and take the zone. Let's go right, with hammer. Right. No, oh, brush. Oh, that brush got me. Aw. Oh. Okay, brush is gonna be on our zone now. Let's do it, Aw. Yep. Damn. Okay. That went really bad. We didn't, we didn't have a plan after we lost control. Yeah. Yeah. And what a match. Stars of Orion just unable to hold on despite how start to the match. And like you heard in those callouts on Stars of Orion, they had such good communication calling out specific where specific opponents were, figuring out plays and getting ready to move in, but it just it was just too little too late. Sadly, yeah, too little too late. Penn State's going to even up the set here now. It's now just coming down to a best of three. It's just an absolute tug of war between both teams right now. And I don't even know who is going to win this set anymore. 
Right, at this point, I'm just going to have to run on assumptions. Like, on the assumption that, okay, we're heading into tower control now. That was the map that Stars of Orion won back in game one with TC Inkblot. So that's going to be my next best guess. But, I mean, who knows with these two teams? They're just so, they're just so good. Exactly, and even with game one going in the favor of Stars of Orion, we saw how back and forth it was, and it really just came down to one last push at the end and being able to prevent overtime. Both these teams, great communication. I want to make note of that for all of the lower level, lower div players watching this, just having those clean cut, quick to the point comms is going to be super important, even in a loss. And now going into game five, tower control on Hammerhead, it's really anyone set. Right, and the importance of that clean cut communication is so valuable because you only have a limited amount of time and a limited amount of, <laughs> I guess, space even to express what you have to say when you have four, you have three other people in the call with you trying to express various things that are happening in, in the match, right? So having the most clear cut, most precise, most just act more I, maybe accurate isn't the better word but i guess the most important relevant information coming across is going to be very valuable and just getting some inf in just intel from both of these teams they may be different in their styles and how they do it but it seems to work and they're able to communicate fairly effectively Yup, and that effective communication has absolutely led to some massive pushes from the ends of both teams. As we are going into Game 5, Tower Control on Hammerhead, both teams are going to opt to run some similar comps that we've been seeing in, throughout the set, and it doesn't look like any team's going to jump out to an initial advantage right away. Right, exactly. I mean, the only switch is here. Snow's back on that gal, and Jay is back on the VDS. No nothing too out of the ordinary here for both of these teams. This mid-fight, though, I have to say, is going to be really crucial here. This opening mid-fight. Ah, oh, we see Kraken, and it looks like, I believe that's obscure. Uh, that's uh, Snow actually trying to isolate here, but failing to follow through. And this is going to be a really good situation here for Stars of Orion. I absolutely love just the tent to use from the end of Stars of Orion, just forcing PSU Blue to move into unfavorable positions and then just being able to take splats off of that. Despite that, while Stars of Orion is going to be at the first checkpoint now, PSU Blue showing that they are able to stop pushes early and with only 45 seconds down so far, it's still really anyone's game. Absolutely. This is this is again going to be another type of tug of war match. And going through that first checkpoint isn't too bad for either team to lose sight of. I would be more worried about that second checkpoint because once that second checkpoint falls, then honestly the tower just moves like butter because there is a very difficult defensive position to hold right there. Now, finally we see Stars of Orion back on the tower again, inching their way forward just a tad, but going too down. I don't think they're going to be able to push that tower any further. Sadly, doesn't look like it with Penn State having the numbers advantage now. Not going to be able to ride the tower a little bit, just back to neutral. You're going to watch them try and take, start painting the middle, start showing off that paint control now. They really start pushing up and really protecting the tower from in front now. They're going to be able to have the tower now. You see the gal having the cure whale online, and now they're at the first checkpoint. And now with you see just Penn State just being able to have some solid positioning and just really make some solid pushes here. The crab tank's going to put a stop to that though, but Penn State for the first initial push, not bad so far. Absolutely, yeah. Again, it was the initial push, the first one that they truly made some ground on. They only had a killer whale to work with, that they had a couple more specials online, and perhaps maybe Kraken disrupting and in getting into the Stars of Orion's faces. Maybe that could have had some potential. And there's this actually might be potential here. In a two, Stars of Orion in a two down, three kind of down, staggered situation here. We see Obscure putting off those try strikes here and PSU now is by the third checkpoint. This is a really good position here. Absolutely amazing position from the side of Penn State. Now gonna take it past the checkpoint. They're gonna look to take the lead here despite being two down. They take the lead now, forcing Stars of Orion into a three down situation now. Now reaching the second checkpoint. Now having to see the cure well come out from the side of Penn State. And now you see them trying to make the most out of this choke point right here. Just really making it difficult for Stars of Orion to get through. You see the swap come out now. I see a two. Once again, three down now on the end of Stars of Orion. And that's a wipe and PSU blue 
blue gonna snowball through that checkpoint and it's gonna look to potentially end the game right here it's an absolute firefight right now it's gonna take it to the one and now it's a goal and penn state all they needed was that one push just making the most out of it and just absolutely snowballing to win game five here in the set I can tell you right now exactly who that playmaker was for PSU Blue. And shout outs to Crack and Mare on that vanilla ink brush, putting in the work, not only disrupting Stars of Orion, allowing the rest of their teammates room to work with, but also calling out the flank from the Splatana and getting like two kills right afterwards and popping like two or three killer whales all in the sequence of 80 points. I, I just have to point out Kraken Mare there where the camera was on them and I was watching the whole thing. And that was just incredible sequence of decision making and gameplay from Kraken Mare. Very well done, sir. Yep, amazing play from the side of Kraken Mare. And with that now... Penn State Blue, you could argue that they have some momentum now. You saw that they have this snowball potential, and especially going into Rainmaker, a game where after the checkpoints are broken, it can really see a snowball effect. I'm really interested to see what are we going to see happen in Game 6. Is Penn State going to try and end the set right here, or is Stars Orion going to equalize it and show how back and forth the set's going to be? And we might potentially see a Game 7 in the set with how intense and how tight it's been throughout this entire set so far i still can't make a prediction here it's going to be amazing i was gonna say spicy we can't say we can't cut out stars of orion yet they seem to surprise us every time and uh, i i don't know i the way that they play sometimes i feel like especially since with their previous experience on various low to mid level teams this is where i think a lot of that clutch factor can definitely come into play and I, although they may not make any weapon adjustments i think they might make some just general decision making or team coordination adjustments as they look to make their way out of this game and hopefully take this set to a game seven because i don't know about you spicy but i love game sevens personally <laughs> I love Game 7 too, and some live stats from Kraken so far, if Kraken dies 8 times, Penn State wins. If Kraken dies 1 time, Stars of Orion wins. This is an insane back and forth so far, and I'm a sucker for Game 7 sets here, and, and I'm really excited just to see some amazing gameplay so far as we go into Game 6, Rainmaker on Museum. And again, like I said, I highly doubt unless Stars of Orion decides to pull the rug under me here. Ah, yep, no no noticeable comp changes there. PSU Blue, I see Jay back on the custom custom dually squelch squelchers again. Uh, Obscure and Snow rocking two splatter shots together. Oh boy, we're going to be in for an exciting match. As the Rainmaker pop, oh, it looks like it's going to go to PSU Blue's way as they're looking to grab the Rainmaker first. Yep, PSU just showing this aggression so far. Both teams showing some aggressive so far. As Stars of Orion's gonna take an early numbers advantage here. Also having the Craptic online. Both teams are gonna go two down here. It's an absolute firefight in mid right now. Both teams not really able to make anything happen with the Rainmaker push right now. Gonna struggle to even potentially get it so far with 30 seconds to go. We're 30 seconds down so far. Just an absolute amazing play in neutral so far. Right, exactly. You see Kraken Mare sharking to follow up on Seekin's kill there. Oh, it looks like, I believe that's either Snow or Jay, Jay out of position there, jumping back to help their teammates defend the podium here as Stars of Orion snuck their way through and almost got the checkpoint cleared. However, they make their way back into mid very quickly here as now PSU Blue has their hands on the Rainmaker looking to make some ground and potentially take some more points onto the scoreboard. And you see Penn State being able to do what they can to try and make this push happen. The push is going to end early though as Stars of a Riot is now going to force Penn State into a three down situation. They're going to take the bubble now, potentially pick up the Rainmaker. Also, when you see the Reef Slider up once again now, potentially going to really make things awkward for Penn State. It's going to be really interesting to see what both teams do here in, in this game six. Exactly. Rainmaker reset right now. Both teams don't have many points to show off right now. As Stars of Orion go in an awkward two down situation. Uh, able to follow up on a, on another kill there from Snow. But 
there's a lot of staggered spawns here and you could just see more purple in mid right now than yellow. So this is looking like a very dangerous situation for Stars of Orion. Yep, and with Penn State having the pain control here and knowing they probably need to make at least another push happen here, I'm really interested to see what's going on in their comms right now. So let's take it over to their voice call. A duelies. I'm grabbing. He's dead. Yeah, up. Grab, grab. They, no crab, no crab, it's just flings up. Wailing, wailing. Come, 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 come. Watch the missile, watch the missile. Oh, Jesus. I'm so sorry. Good lead, though. I can't I'm out of here. Uh, burst bombs are coming at me. I got one. Let's go. No missiles. Wait for snow. I'm here. Oh, shoot. I had to, I dropped one down. One top right somewhere. Keep an eye. Oh. Oh, Three, oh, uh, Dooley's there. Good lead. I'm oh, sorry. I just wanted there. to I wanted to keep no, it that, up that there. Good play. That was a good play. <laughs> I'm with you, Jay. I'm with you. Back up. Oh, there's two here on the left. Two here on the left. That mid, that mid. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, it strikes. Dooley, or Dooley's and Wiper going up. Ah, uh, they've got... They're, they're gonna so be jumping good. over. Yeah. They're, they're pushed up really well. They're gonna get it. They're, they're gonna, gonna get it. That's fine. Fine, fine. Focus oh, oh, checkpoint. Are we... Got one. Stop the Nice. Two down. Tetra, Tetra, uh, there. Nice. Out him. There's, There's still one, one down there. They jumped out. Okay, hey, good. good. Here, I'm jumped in. Mid. Jumped in. Jumped in behind us. Got him. Okay, nice. Good work. Keep the pain up. That's the biggest thing right now. Just keep paint. Oh, oh, I got to know. Crap, crap, crap. I didn't even notice they popped this. Fuck! Oh, Watch Jay, you're... I'm scorching in a bad spot. Ah, uh, Jay's about to... Shit. Not fine. I got fine. one off that, we got two off that. We We're got good. two for that one, is... that's okay, that's okay. That's very good, very good. Wailing them in mid. Keep it. Some amazing bombs coming out from the side of Penn State now, and it's a really close game. Penn State has it has a slight lead now with it coming down to the last 30 seconds. They're gonna try to do what they can to end this set right here. Right, but not without a fight. Stars of Orion popping a crab and the crab the crab tank and the stamp in hopes of driving back PSU up just a tad bit further as the final seconds come down. One member down of Stars of Orion, one down outside of PSU Blue. This is their moment. Yep, with their moment to go. They have to pick up the Rainmaker with five seconds to go. Stars of Orion understands that this is a very close situation, but they gotta lose the Rainmaker to the triple strike, and all of a sudden, Penn State Blue is going to win the set 4-2. to two. Oh my god, that was just so unfortunate, but great, a great display from PSU Blue there in the final few seconds. Just the classic toss a few splat bombs onto the Rainmaker, and then right when the moment is at its at its peak, toss those trip strikes and ensure that that the stars of Orion members won't be able to go any further. What a great game from both of these teams! And of course, congrats to PSU Blue for taking the their week four win against University of Texas Dallas Stars of Orion. Wow. And we know how badly Penn State definitely wanted this set. Knowing that they are 2-0 and in the season so far, now 3-0. and mm -hmm. You know Penn State really wants to make that playoff push. They know they have the chance to not only make that playoff push, but to potentially win the entire division here. And you were seeing it. The, the amazing gameplay, the amazing comms, just being able to have this coordination, this clutch factor also coming out from the side of Penn State. Amazing play from them. Agreed. What I really love about their call-outs in particular, I believe it was primarily Kraken and Snow, if I could recognize their voices. I heard the word wait a lot, which is incredible because 
I think in Splatoon, personally, having patience is such a great skill to have in this game because sometimes you feel really antsy and you want something to happen and you've got to make it happen. But sometimes you kind of have to take a step back and literally just wait, like wait for your teammates to come back, wait for the opponents to make a move first, wait for them to make a mistake first before you do. And those that that display, that is... I, I think pa their patience was incredible there, and it was a great, a, a great display of patience, and not not overextending is another great way to put it. That's a great way to put it, especially in a game like Splatoon. It's really hard to draw the line between knowing between playing aggressive and playing patient. So knowing when to make the push, knowing when to go in, and having the poise, having the state of mind to. Be patient has been super good for Penn State and has been really evident in their comms. Agreed, Spicy. Well, folks, as you can see on your screen now, we're actually heading into a quote-unquote Game 7 here. Uh, both of these teams have graciously uh, accepted to conduct a play all seven, no matter how the set was going to go. So we'll get some tune for you guys because we love these teams and we love to show off how good these collegiate teams are. So heading into a friendlies game seven here, we see some experimentation on the side, uh, side of Stars of Orion here with that Splattershot Nouveau and <laughs> PSU Blue rocking the new Neo Splash and the, aeros and the Golden Arrow Spray. I love to see it. My things, my first impression so far is I am very confused seeing Kraken rocking the Octobrush after looking at my notes and it's saying not Octobrush no matter what anyone says. So, but despite that, Penn State Blue is gonna force a wipeout situation. So obviously something is working here, and now they're gonna be able to pick up these clams and and now break the barrier. Something is working. Maybe it's the Octobrush. Right, and those are from the notes of Kraken themselves. So not quite sure what happened there, Spicy, as you rightly pointed out. Not Octobrush, no matter what anyone says. Well, maybe except for what when Kraken says. But anyways, we're looking here at Stars of Orion gaining back some of the ground that they had lost from PSU Blue's push there and getting a good kill on that Golden Arrow spray. Looking to do an isolation here and following through on that kill on Kraken Mare. Good plays all around from Stars of Orion. Exactly. Now with teams trying to fight their way back at the neutral, you see Penn State Blue having the arrow spray, having the power clamp here. They're gonna have a booyah bomb ready whenever they find the need to use it. But right now, it's just really just amazing neutral play once again. Even with these experimental comps, despite that, Stars of Ryan are gonna go three down. This might be a potential situation here for Penn State to make another push and maybe get another score right here, as they do. Good place here from PSU Blue. Stars of Orion holding on strong though. They're playing fairly patiently as they had to wait for all members to come back into spawn and come back into play here. Ah, but they're going two down here, getting some unlucky kills here, looking to hold the basket from going any further, but Kraken Mare getting a clutch kill there and popping in a few more clams to be sure. Seekin holding onto this ball right now, hoping to make some room for the penny, but they go down by Snow getting, Snow getting two picks now and the basket is still open. And with the Neo Splash having clams ready, they might be able to do something here. And they do. Penn State, all they needed was just two pushes. They're just going to be able to secure that game. Even with these experimental comps, Penn State showing that they have a lot of great gameplay. And just having those fundamentals really showed and was, and was the key to them winning this game. Right, exactly. I mean, the aggression that PSU Blue was able to display there and, of course, their patience and, you know, some casual pop-offs there, like from Snow getting three clutch kills right under Stars of Orion's spawn. I mean, you got some great playmakers on the side of PSU Blue, and I can't forget Jay, Jay and Obscure making some really good plays and coordinating really well with the rest of their team. So, I, I gotta give a hats off to PSU Blue there, and that was just a great set. That was a phenomenal set. I agreed completely. If you're the side of Stars of Orion, you have nothing to be ashamed of here. That was an incredible set, and you saw just how much they were able to keep up with Penn State here, one of the favorites of the division. They, while this is their first time in Division One in CCA, they feel like they belong. You can tell Stars of Ryan has a lot of potential going into the rest of the season. 
I'm not going to be surprised if I see them have a great push in the second half for them. Absolutely. I mean, they had their, this is week four, but they have two rescheduled matches to go through in addition to their week five matchup. So not um, hope is not lost on them. And I'm really excited to see that maybe they're able to just narrowly squeeze into playoffs. But with that being said, folks, this being week four, we still have more matches for you all. So with that being said here, this is it for the CCA stream on our end as we're going to head on over to Splatoon Tourney to finish off the rest of the night. With that being said, Spicy, where can the good folks on stream find you? If you're interested, you can follow me on Twitter at 2SpicyBM or look at me up on YouTube at just SpicyBM. Awesome. And folks, you can find me, Mizuno, M-I-Z-U underscore N-0 on both Twitter and Twitch. And be sure to follow the CCA respective social medias to stay tuned to all CCA action. Thank you all for tuning in tonight, folks. And we hope to see you at another future CCA match.